Hi friends. Hola mis amigos. Esta semana tenemos algo muy interesante. This week we have something really interesting. The stories of how we are connected to our heritage. Las historias de nuestras conexiones, de nuestra gente y la tierra. When we start to look at who we are and where we come from, it helps us to grow in our self-understanding and also to see more clearly where we're going in our lives because it connects us to the journey we're on. And when we share that experience, it broadens our connections with others. Esta semana, Día de los Indígenas está celebrando en los estados. Y aquí en México es Día de la Raza. This week, Indigenous Peoples Day is celebrated in the U.S. And here in Mexico, it is Día de la Raza. In Espanol, the word for race is raza, and the word for roots is raíz. It's no accident these words are so closely connected, because who we are takes us back to our roots. So I've asked some of my friends on both sides of La Frontera to share their stories, so we may learn of each other's roots and grow in the process. Creo que lo que me conecta con mis ancestros o con mis raíces es el movimiento. Por ejemplo, me gusta visitar los tianguis y encontrar cosas, escuchar los múltiples sonidos, ver la diversidad de colores, olores y sabores que se pueden encontrar en un solo lugar. Del Nahuatl Tianguistli, este es un lugar ancestral que a pesar del tiempo permanecerá como parte de nuestra cultura. Me gusta saberme en el ombligo del mundo. Sentir el viento, sentir el barro y mirar atrás y pensar que es la piel y la sangre de mis antiguos ancestros. Mirar el cielo, darme cuenta que el sol sigue ahí después de tantos siglos, después de tanto tiempo. Es un día nuevo y con él mis sueños y mis esperanzas se levantan como los trabajadores que día a día hacen posible la llegada de cualquier servicio o producto hasta lo más recóndito de mi país y lo más recóndito del mundo. El mundo, pues, es solamente un recuerdo de lo que ya no es, pero siempre será distinto para mí hoy y para el mañana entonces. I feel the connection with my ancestors uh, when I'm out in the elements. Uh, when I, you know, connect to Mother Nature, uh, also when I'm dancing, you know, I like to feel the energy in my feet when I'm dancing. Uh, you know, it reminds me, you know, the ceremonies and, and, and rituals. Hola Norma, ¿cómo estás? Bien, gracias. Para ser indígena significa estar conectado con la tierra y las personas de tu patrimonio. To be indigenous means you have some connection to the land and people of your heritage. So in a sense, we all are indigenous to some place, to a land and people, or perhaps to many. Other than a single ancestor, a woman whose stories I heard from my family growing up, my own heritage is not native to the peoples of this land. My ancestors migrated here from Europe, from places like Ireland and Germany. My mother's family were descendants of the Irish who migrated down the Appalachians 
into the Ozark Mountains of Arkansas. The family of my father is primarily of mixed German and European descent. As a child, I remember hearing the traditional mountain and country music, being outdoors, exploring, and living close to the land. It just felt like everyday life to be running around out in the woods, often barefoot. We would eat big meals as a family, spreads of cornbread, fried chicken and gravy, or meatloaf, sauerkraut, and cabbage. As I reflect on it, the connection I feel to my ancestors really only goes back to my great-grandparents. My main cultural influences weren't Irish or German. They were something new, a hybrid mix of mountain culture, psychedelia, funk, soul, and jazz, southern cooking, and pop culture. Like so many other Americans, culturally, I'm a mongrel, a dog of the streets of indeterminate heritage. Este es el patrimonio con el que me conecto. Y hay algunos bueno y malo también. There are also examples of ignorance and racism there. So I accept that reality. But I'm determined to chart a different course for myself and my descendants. And more recently, there are new experiences in my life. Ones which connect me through my relationships more closely to Mexico and its culture. Con apreciación para nuestras diferencias, tenemos una herencia en común también, uno de ser humano. With the differences in our experience, we also share the common heritage of being human. And that, I hope, is where the differences start to break down. So I appreciate all of these stories of my friends and how they form who they are. It adds richness to my life to know them. ¿Cuál es tu historia? Dime, por favor. What's your story? How does it make you who you are? Tell me in the comments or send a message to my email. I'd like to hear it. Y gracias por estar aquí conmigo. Thanks for experiencing this truly shared journey with me today. If it's your first time to watch my video, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay connected with my weekly offerings on creativity and personal growth. Hasta la próxima semana. Until next week. Cuidate amigos. Take care friends. Peace.